so this is the last video that I'm making with this assignment. And as you see, I have added more color to my background. I've touched up on some things and things are looking pretty good. I could leave this like this, but um, what I do in this case is I go back and I will use my color pencils just to touch up on some things. Sometimes watercolor, you add layers and this and that. And like I said, it's a very loose media. And if I'm trying to find some sense of control or if I'm trying to find um, some areas to emphasize, I might actually use my colored pencils. So you're gonna get more exact lines, obviously, with colored pencils. So a lot of times if I'm trying to bring extremes into my art, that's when I'll use my colored pencils. And I've picked some colored pencils that they're like the, the same type of tones, color value that I see actually in my piece. So if I'm wanting to just add a little pop and I'm going super, super light on this thing because you really do not want your background color to dominate what's happening here. So as you're doing this with your colored pencils, if you are using colored pencils, I would literally stand up and get up because if you don't, your perception, your depth perception will be off with what truly needs to be um, dark or light or emphasized or not emphasized on your on your work. So just going back and I'm just kind of touching up on some things and I'm not overworking. I'm just asking myself what needs to be emphasized, what is missing in, in my piece and how can I make this balanced and um, how can I create the contrast and interest and really the message that I want with this piece in general to my audience. So after you add little bits, pause for a second, go back. If you see anywhere else that uh, needs repetition, that's what I would do or emphasis, so. The white is good. It's not as good as um, you have some white in your watercolor set that you, you could if you're trying to brighten some things. Like I used that white for here and I also used it here. In general, as a rule, in watercolor, you're supposed to use the white of the paper as your bright, but if you paint over it, I mean, by all means, I would, I would advise y'all to, um, to do that. Uh, the only reason why I'm using colored pencil right here for white is just to show you it will lighten it. it um, if you're looking for like a pure white, you're not going to get it. It's going to muddy things when you're adding the white with the colored pencil, but if you're wanting just a little something lighter, like I'm wanting um, the branches to stand out a little bit more with the stripes on them, that could be something that you could add to that. Um, it, you know, I'll show you here. It will, you can kind of see, it will brighten a little, but it ends up looking like a grayish tone. So if you don't mind that, that's just the, the look of it all. If you're needing a highlight, but not a white, white highlight, that's what um, you could do. But I would, over this first, try to use your the white watercolor. I think the effect is much better. Um, let's see here. I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good. The only thing that I did not try on this out of the supplies that you guys have are these markers. And one thing that I will say, if you are gonna use these markers, use these markers first before you use colored pencil. Because what it is, the colored pencil, it's got um, that wax in it. And if you use this first, like if you make a mark first, and then you put a pen on top of that, it's going to mess up that pen or that marker because that wax will get in the pen and the marker. So the rule is do your marker first. And then if you want to value shade or whatever on top of that, 
I would. I will, um, I will tell you this, the next project, I will be working um, more with these markers just for you guys to see. But there may be other things that I'll do to this piece, but for right now, I think I'm pretty cool with it. And um, I think it's pretty well balanced. Um, yeah, it's, it's what I'm looking for. So anyway, I hope that that helps you guys. I know there's nothing like in person, but um, hopefully you have a clue. So with that, I hope y'all have a great day.